Thursday's game, we thought our girls fought really hard. I mean, TWU is still unbeaten um, in conference. I'm sure you guys know that. But we thought we fought as hard as we could. We didn't shoot the ball as well. But on the defensive end, I thought we did take away the main kids. Um, we held them to the goals that we kept to. I thought we were battling a little bit. Um, they called a lot of a bunch of fouls on us, and they were shooting more free throws. So what we took from that game was just we have to be the attackers. We have to try to attack the rim a little bit more and get to the free throw line when we're not shooting as well. Um, and that will probably help us to overcome that loss. And then Saturday, Saturday's game, I think it was just a one of those bounce back things where we were really, really, really obviously wanting to win Thursday um, because that was such a big game for us that maybe we got caught up too much in that game and didn't bring it on Saturday. Obviously, I mean, they were shooting lights out also. I mean, yes. it's not much they're making everything. Yes. Um, I mean, we went back and watched the film a few times, and there were a bunch of shots where our hands were in their faces. And, you know, we have to tell our kids sometimes that sometimes good players just have really good hot nights. And I think that was something that happened on Saturday. We also didn't play as well. Um, but I definitely tip my hat off to them because they were shooting extremely well. They have some good kids, but I mean, they were shooting lights out for that game. And so we just really wanted to take that and learn from it and kind of let that sting a little bit for us as we move into this week. As you kind of talked about, you know, taking stuff away, what do you think the biggest takeaway is to get out of some of those losses uh, that you're carrying into this week? Um, just that when we're going to play on the road, that it takes everything. Um, I think that it's always going to be naturally easier to play at home. You're on your floor, you're sleeping in your bed, you can shoot well because you play on these, practice on these rims um, all week. But when you're on the road, it really takes a, some toughness, it takes some grit, and it takes a lot of focus. And I think that that's really obviously something we struggle with. We haven't lost at home. And so hopefully, like I said, it gives the our girls a little bit of motivation going into big games on the road is that sometimes they're going to have the upper hand because they're playing on their, their floor. We're just going to have to have that grit, have that toughness, and have that focus to where we can overcome those teams in those games. Continue your road trip this week, too. Going to Cameron and Midwestern, just kind of what have you seen on film on them? You think you guys are going to do well? Um, well, just basing it off of last week, I mean, Cameron did have a big win. I think that was the week before they did beat Angelo. Um, and obviously, Angelo was at the top of the Lone Star Conference. And so that's something that we are already, we've been talking about today. We, we're talking about this week with the girls. It's just that anyone can beat anyone. And going like it, it's going to be another test just playing on the road. I mean, like I said, that has been something that's hurt us a little bit um, in our losses. But I'm hoping that as we take it to them, at their place that we just start off with a lot of energy, start off with a lot of focus to really be where we need to be with those teams. And then for Midwestern, um, although we did beat them, they, they had their post player scored 26 points on us on our floor. And that's something that we're going to challenge our girls is that we don't let that happen. Um, something we pride ourselves on is defense and really taking that away, making her score other ways, making other people score is going to be something that we hope to do. You guys really haven't had to face a lot of adversity this year. You've had such a good season. How do you think this will help get you guys going moving forward? Um, well, I think facing adversity is great. I mean, I don't think any coach would want to play a completely perfect season going into the postseason just because you're going to face all the adversity there. And so I think these moments where we have a back-to-back -back loss, these moments where we're struggling with the good teams on the road are going to help build our character, help prepare the girls as we do get to the end of the season. Um, because we had had a tough stretch. I mean, playing those two teams on the road back-to-back, -back, that's, that's a tough stretch for us. Um, but I think that that will help us build into what we're trying to be as we go into the postseason. How much progress are you seeing from your younger players right now? Um, we're definitely seeing a ton of progress. I think that them coming in and really being challenged by our, our senior and older guards um, is going to help them, especially in the postseason, because, I mean, as you guys all know, Carly Machenbacher is one of the best defenders in the league. They're having to go against her every single day. They're having to go against Zam every single day. And so I think those things have helped them help build their confidence. It's helped build their ball handling. It's helped them understand when to shoot, when not to shoot, compare into comparison to high school. But I think them just playing against our senior guards, our um, those those guards is what has really helped build them up to where they're at right now.